Hello. Today I'm going to be doing a crochet along or crochet with me and we're going to be making a jellyfish. I'm going to make this um, probably a two part series. So today we're going to be making the body and probably in the next video, which I'm thinking will be next week, um, we're going to make the rest of the bottom of the body and we're going to make the coils or um, like the jellyfish I don't know what they're called the bottom of the jellyfish that's looks like strings um, the pattern I have them um, labeled as coils so today we're going to make the body of the jellyfish and I'm going to be using um, Red Heart yarn. Um, it's the color liquid teal. It changes colors. I guess it's variegated yarn. Um, so what you're going to need today is yarn. You're going to need any color and you're going to need black to make the mouth with. You're also going to need a crochet hook that um, goes with the weight of your yarn. Today I'm going to be using an H or a 5 millimeter. And you're also going to need um, either safety eyes or yarn to make eyes yourself or felt to glue on to make eyes yourself. And you're going to need some kind of stuffing and today I'm going to be using polyfill um, fiber stuffing. You will also need a tapestry needle to sew the mouth on. So to start the body, you're going to want to make a magic ring. So to make a magic ring, you're going to hold the yarn in your hand like this. You're going to hold the end. You're going to wrap around and make an X and wrap around the top. And you're going to take your hook and you're going to go under the front loop, you're going to grab the back loop and pull under. And then it's going to look like this. And then you're going to grab the yarn and you're going to pull through that loop. That's the beginning of your magic ring. And we'll do that one more time. So you're going to hold your yarn, and then you're going to wrap around, make an X, then wrap around the top. You're going to go under the front loop, pull the back loop, bring it up, and then you're going to grab, I guess, the back or the working yarn. You're going to pull it through that loop. And that is the beginning of a magic ring. So from here, you're going to do five single crochets into that magic ring. So you're going to hold the tail and the ring. You're going to go under, grab your working yarn and pull it up. You're going to yarn over it and pull through. That's one. Two. Go under, yarn over, pull up, yarn over, pull through. That's three. Yarn over and pull up, yarn over and pull through. Four. And one more. Five. Um, also something that I didn't list is a stitch marker. You're going to need one of those. Um, as you saw, to make your magic ring, you pull on that tail and it tightens it up. We can do that one more time.
So again, you're going to make those five single crochets into your magic ring. Two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. And then you grab a hold of the tail, hold right here, you're just going to pull on that tail and it will tighten up that magic ring. Okay, so again, you're going to need some kind of stitch marker. Um, scrap yarn will work, safety pins will work, bobby pins will work. Just something so that um, you can mark your beginning stitch. So after you have made five single crochets into your magic ring, you're going to do an increase into each single crochet. So to make an increase, you're going to go into that first single crochet of your magic ring. You're going to yarn over it and pull through. Yarn over it and pull through two. And then you're gonna to wanna to mark that single crochet. So an increase is two single crochets into the same stitch. So we're going to put another single crochet into that first stitch. Yarn over and pull through. So then you're going to continue putting two single crochets into every stitch. So insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over and pull through two. And then this is the last stitch because your marker is in this one. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through two. Okay, so at this point you should have 10 stitches, 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. Remove your stitch marker, and you're going to increase in each stitch again. So you're going to put two single crochets into each stitch. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and you're going to want to mark that single crochet because that will be your starting single crochet. You're going to put another single crochet into that stitch, and you're going to continue doing that, and I will meet you back at this last stitch.
So here we are at the last stitch. You're going to do the same thing. Put two single crochets into this stitch. Okay, so at the end of this row you should have 20 stitches. Alright, so next we're going to do a single crochet into the first stitch and an increase into the next stitch and we're going to repeat that for the whole entire round. And then you're going to want to mark that stitch. So that was a single crochet in that stitch and an increase in the next. So we're going to put two single crochets into this stitch. One and two. And then one single crochet into the next stitch and an increase, two single crochets into this stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. We're going to increase into the next stitch. One and two. And I will meet you back at the end of this row, end of this round, I'm sorry. So we're down to the last two stitches here, and you're going to single crochet into the first one, and you're going to do two single crochets into the last one, or an increase. Okay, so at the end of this round, you should have 30 stitches. Remove your stitch marker. And next we're going to do a single crochet in each stitch for the whole entire round. And then put your stitch marker back in there. And just do single crochets in every stitch for the whole entire round, and I will meet you back at the end. to the last two stitches and again you're just going to single crochet into each of those stitches. A 
as you can see, your work is starting to curl in. I like to turn my work so that the tail is on the inside, so I just kind of uncurl it a little bit and try to work it so that the tail is on the inside. You can always pull that a little tighter if you need to, just close up that magic ring hole. Okay, so for round five, actually round six, we're going to be doing two single crochets and then an increase. And we're gonna repeat that for the whole entire round. So there's one single crochet and you're gonna wanna mark that with your stitch marker. Two single crochets. That's one and two, and then an increase in the next stitch. So again, that's two single crochets into the same stitch. And then single crochet into the next stitch. One single crochet into the next stitch. And then increase into the next one. Single crochet, single crochet, and an increase. And you're going to repeat that for the whole entire round, and I will meet you back when we're close to the end. So now that we have made it back to the end, you should have three stitches left. Single crochet into the first one. Single crochet into the next. And an increase into the very last. For this round, we're going to single crochet into each stitch again. Um, you should have a total of 40 stitches. You put your stitch marker back in. and single crochet into each stitch and I will meet you back at the end of the round.
All right, we're down to the last couple of stitches here. You're just gonna continue to single crochet in those last couple of stitches. For the next row, we're going to do three single crochets and an increase. So single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, and increase into the fourth stitch. Single crochet into the first one and put your stitch marker back in there. Single crochet into the second stitch. Single crochet into the third stitch. And increase into the fourth stitch. And you're going to repeat this for the whole entire round. Single crochet. Single crochet. single crochet and increase. Single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. and increase. And continue doing this for the whole entire round and I will meet you back at the end. Okay, so we have made it to the last four stitches left in this round. And we're going to single crochet in the first three and increase in the last one as we've been doing. and increase. Okay, so at the end of that round you should have 40 stitches. I'm sorry, you should have 50 stitches. All right, and for the next 12 rows, that's row 9 through 20. You are going to single crochet in each stitch. Um, so for this, um, I would recommend using scrap yarn if you have any. You can still use stitch markers. They can just be a little more difficult to remove um, at the end. But um, I'm going to 
do a majority of that off camera and I will meet you back at row 20. So here we are at the end of row 20. Just going to continue my um, single crochet. 
crochets as I'm working around. Alright, so this is the end of row 20. So, you can remove all of your stitch markers, or if you just have one. I use yarn so I know how many rows I've done. So there's 12 rows and 12 pieces of yarn. So you can remove those now. In each one of those rows, you should have had 50 stitches. Alrighty, so row 20 or round 21, um, you're, we're going to be doing three single crochets and then a decrease, and we're going to repeat that for the whole entire round. So I'm going to do my first single crochet, and I'm going to insert my old stitch marker here. Hopefully you can hear me over the washer and dryer, I do apologize. Then we're going to do another single crochet in the second stitch. Another single crochet in the third stitch. And then in the next two stitches is going to be a decrease. So what you do is you pull up the front loop of the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, then the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then you should have three loops on your hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops, and that is a decrease. So again, we're going to do three single crochets, one, two, and three, and then we're going to do a decrease and pull up the front loop of the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, then pull up the front loop of the second stitch, yarn over and pull through. We should have three loops on our hook. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. So again, one single crochet, two, our second single crochet, third single crochet, and then a decrease. Oh. Pull up the loop, go to the next one, pull up a loop, three loops, and then pull through all three. So you're gonna repeat that all the way around, and I will meet you back at the end.
Alright, so we're down to the last five stitches in the row, or round. I'm going to continue saying row, it's just, I mean round. Alright, so you're going to do three single crochets, as you were doing. And then the decrease. Pull up the front loop, yarn over, pull through. Next stitch, pull up the front loop, yarn over, pull through. Three loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Okay, so for the next two rows, you're going to do single crochets in each stitch. I said rows again. Rounds. Jeez. And insert your stitch marker. Alright, and then single crochet for the next two rounds. And there should be a total of 40 stitches. And I will meet you back at the end of the second round. Alright, so we're at the end of that second round. For round 24, we're going to do... Oh, I guess I should finish this round, right? Hmm. Again, there should be 40 stitches. Okay, for round 24, we're going to be doing two single crochets and then a decrease. So... One single crochet and put your stitch marker back in there. Two 
two single crochets and then a decrease. single crochet, two single crochets, and a decrease. Three loops, yarn over, pull through all three. We're going to continue doing that and I'll meet you back at the end. Alright, so we're back here at the end of our round. We're going to do two single crochets. And a decrease. For the next two rounds, round 25 and 26, you're going to do a single crochet in each stitch.
right, so we are at the end of row 26. For row 27, you're going to do one single crochet and then a decrease and repeat that for the entire round. I said row again. Jeez. Alright, so single crochet. Insert your stitch marker. And then a decrease. Pull up a loop. Pull up a loop. Three loops. And pull through all three. Single crochet. And a decrease. Three loops. And pull through all three. Single crochet. Decrease. Three loops and pull through all three. You're going to repeat that and I will meet you back at the end of this round. So we're down to the last three stitches of this round. You're going to do a single crochet and a decrease. All right, for the, oh, I'm sorry, there are 20 stitches. You should have 20 stitches in that round. For the next two rounds, 28 and 29, we're going to do a single crochet, well, a single crochet in each stitch for two rounds. All right, and I will meet you back at the end of the second round. to the last two stitches of that round. Just gonna single crochet into each of those stitches. And again, you should have 20 stitches. All 
Okay, so at this point, you're going to pull up a loop and you're going to want to attach your um, eyes at this point. I am using safety eyes. I think I'm going to use clear ones. That's not clear. Okay, so we're going to attach these eyes about roughly 14 rows from the bottom. So this is the top. So we're gonna count about 14 rows or so from the bottom. One, two, three. So about right in here. Um, actually, I'm gonna flip them around a little bit and put them right in here. Oh, sorry. And I'm gonna put them one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven stitches apart. Yeah, I think that I think I like that. Let me. Okay, so now I gotta put the backs on there. So if you're using safety eyes and you've never used them before, um, just know that once these backs go on, they do not come off. So make sure you're happy with the placement of your eyes before you go securing them down. So this is what he looks like so far. All right, and then next we're going to use black yarn and we're going to make a smile. I'm not 100% sure what's going on with my black yarn. It looks like I have a mess. Also, apparently, I have an unhappy child. Okay. Alright, so, um, in order to sew on the smiley, I'm gonna need a tapestry needle. And about to potentially watch me struggle. This is my least favorite part. The threading of the needle. Would you look at that? Okay, so we're going to 
also the smile on about I think eight rounds or so from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this is going to be where the bottom is. And then maybe kind of do a thing. We're just going to wing it. You can either do this attached to your skin or you can just eyeball an amount and go from there.
and then I am going to go back in here and I'm going to come up right here. Maybe, you know, there's always a struggle. There we go. If that helps, you can always flatten it out too. Okay, and from here, we're going to do the same thing. back into the closest hole here and I'm just gonna pull it through the bottom and then I'm going to cut it and then on the inside which you know isn't that easy to get to. Should have this one and this one. I'm just gonna take these and tie them together. It doesn't have to be like tight, it just helps secure them. You can just leave those in there. You don't have to cut them or anything. And then here is your face. All right, so to finish this, this is your gonna be your last round. And you are going to do four double crochets in one stitch and then you're going to slip stitch so for this one you're going to yarn over insert yarn over and pull through you should have three yarn over pull through two yarn over and pull through two and then you're gonna wanna put your stitch marker in that stitch. And you're gonna put three more of those into this stitch right here. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over and pull through. And there's three. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over. We're gonna do it two more times. Yarn over, insert, and pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. And then you're gonna do it one more time. Yarn over, 
insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. So then you're going to slip stitch into this stitch. You can, okay, so you can either go all the way in, pull your yarn through and then pull it through again or you can do an invisible I'm gonna have to do that double crochet again or you can do an invisible slip stitch and it's sort of like doing the decrease so you would insert through the first loop of the stitch yarn over and pull through like that so then you're going to put four more double crochets into this next stitch. And what we're making now is, I don't know, it's kind of like a, what would you call it? Um, I don't know. It's sort of like the. I don't know. It's hard to explain. It's kind of like where the jellyfish is, like the tentacles, if you would call them that. Kind of. It just hides them, sort of. I don't know. Alright, so we're going to slip stitch. We have one, two, three, and four in there. We're gonna slip stitch. And we're gonna repeat. And then we should have 40 stitches when you get done with this row.
Okay, so we're at the last stitch. I did the four double crochets into the stitch before the last. I'm going to slip stitch into this stitch, but I'm going to do the whole stitch instead of just the front loop. Okay, and then I'm going to remove my stitch marker and I'm going to slip stitch into this stitch here, but I'm going to go into the back loop this time. And I'm going to pull up a loop. Um, cut your yarn, leave like a fairly long loop or a long tail and then you're gonna fasten off so you're just gonna grab this yarn and pull it through so that it tightens down on that back loop and then I like to pull my um, like my knot kind of underneath and to the front so I'm just gonna insert my hook into that there stitch that you um, fastened off to, yarn over it and pull all the way through and it's going to pull that knot into the back and then it's going to pull your yarn to the front so when you go to work with it it's going to be out to the front where you can sew onto you know whatever it might be. Okay so at this point um, like I said, you should have 40 stitches, and you are going to now add your stuffing. And you want this to be fairly firm, but um, it's really your preference of um, how firm or how squishy it is. So, um, like I said, I have polyfill stuffing, and I'm just going to stuff it in there. This is that skirt that I was talking about that we had just made. So, I just like, so your tentacles or your, I don't know what they're called, the coil parts, is gonna attach down here after we make the bottom of the body next week. Add some more stuffing. You want to make sure that it's getting in there and it's evenly spreading out. Um, see how it filled out as we were stuffing it. Let me see if I can adjust this a little. It's a little bit better. I'm just gonna, cause it's still not full yet, so I'm gonna add some more stuffing to it. And this is all the stuffing that you're going to need for this project. Um, it doesn't have any arms that you're gonna stuff. The bottom of the body doesn't get any stuffing, so. sure it gets to all parts. It's firm, but I, I think I want it more than that, so I'm just 
just gonna add some more. And you can stuff it into the edges as you go. It kinda makes it easier. And it spreads it around too. So this is the body of your jellyfish. It is, well, the top of the body, I guess. The main part of the body is finished. So next week we will do the bottom of the body and the coils. So please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on my next video or videos. And if you enjoyed making this little guy with me today, make sure to hit that like button. Um, feel free to share with your friends as well. And I will see you all next week for the rest, of the making of the rest of this little guy. Thank you guys for watching and thank you for crocheting with me. And I really enjoyed making this little guy, and I look forward to finishing him next week. Thank you all so much. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to make sure that you um, don't miss any videos. And hit that notification bell so that you know right when they have been posted. Thank you guys. Have a blessed day.